Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for attending my session today. My name is Hyun Jin, and I'm a PhD candidate at Kellogg School of Management in Accounting Department. And today, I am going to present my paper, which I study the impact of bond investors in banks' lending behavior. Suppose you are thinking about buying a house. If you have enough cash, then that is fine. However, if you do not have enough cash on your hand, then you might think about borrowing some money from a bank. However, banks do not provide cash without any verification, so they may require some background check, uh, including your financial status, or like the salary, or the employment status. Or if the credit score is available on your side, then the banks use this information when they make a lending decision on you. Companies also face a similar problem. They want to invest in a new project, or they want to buy a new building, or they want to make a new factory. But they do not have enough cash sometimes. So similar to the individual's case, company also reach out to a bank to borrow some money from them. So in my paper, I study what kind of decision variables do banks use when they make a lending to the company. So similar to the individual's case, it could be some information to verify the credit worthiness of the company, which is included in the financial statement. Or uh, if the company has some credit rating information available, then they, the banks, use these information when they make a lending to the company. However, one interesting feature about the company's borrowing relative to the individual borrowing is that companies can borrow from multiple sources. As I mentioned earlier, company can definitely borrow from a bank, but if banks are not willing to pay, uh, provide enough money to the company, then companies can also think about borrowing from the corporate bond markets where they can borrow from a set of public investors. If company borrows from a bank, then the borrowing is in the form of the bank loans, which is a bilateral agreement between the company and the bank which is more flexible and customizable. However, if company borrows from the corporate bond markets, then this financial product is more strict and uh, more standardized because they are borrowing from different types of public investors. Even if there are some differences between these two financial products, they are similar in a sense that the company borrow a lot of money upfront and then paying back their borrowed amount with some interest payment throughout the contracted period. So if these two financial products are similar to each other, then my question is uh, whether the information that is generated in the corporate bond markets could be a decision factor for banks when they are lending money to the company. And specifically, I'm interested in the investor's demand information that is generated in the corporate bond markets and I'm asking whether banks use this information when they lend money to the company. Then what do I mean by uh, investor's demand from the corporate bond markets? Let me give you an example. Amazon, in year 2020, they tried to borrow money from the corporate bond markets. And this is what happened throughout the day when Amazon announced uh, the bond issuance. In June 1st of 2020, Amazon announced that they are going to borrow money from the market. And then initially, they proposed 0.4% of the compensation for those investors who are willing to lend money to the company. However, throughout the day, Amazon observed a lot of investors' demand on that day. So by incorporating this information, Amazon decreased their compensation to the public investors from 0.4% to 0.25%. So effectively, these difference, 0.4 to 0.25, captures the investor's demand in the corporate bond markets for Amazon. Once the price is set, then it is ready to be traded on the corporate bond markets. So with this setting, uh, my paper shows that whenever companies borrow money from the corporate bond markets, then we observe the investor's demand information from this market. And this becomes an information source, especially when the demand information is positive. And I show that the banks use this information when they make a lending decision on the company in the form of lower uh, interest rate that they charge on the company. 
the reason that banks uh, think this demand information is important for them is because this provides uh, banks a confidence that they, they, that they can invite co-lenders who are willing to lend money together to the company. So in a higher level, uh, my paper shows that the demand information from the bond markets is an information source for the banks. So my research is important because I'm showing that the information is spilling over from the bond market to uh, the bank's lending decision. And this is especially important for the companies who are trying to borrow money from the corporate bond markets because it has some future consequence as well. And also, my paper improves the understanding about the information dynamics between different capital markets. So I'm expecting my paper could help financial regulators to make a more informed regulatory decision uh, sometime in the future. So this is the end of my talk. And thank you very much for listening. <laughs>